As I get back into the music again is that if I let go of my ego, which is a Christian principle, you let go of your ego, then you let go of the I, then things will start to happen for you because we are giving creatures. And as soon as you stop the taking, me, 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 and actually think, okay, I'll give all that up, what do you want me to do, Lord, is uh, give. That's all God wants you to do is give. So I sort of... Uh, that's a normal state of a human being is to give, unbelievably. We get told other things that we should take and we should take and we should take, but we should give. And so now I'm getting back into the, now that I've released the eye a little bit, it's coming back and I'm not even trying and it's good. And so the ego thing is there, obviously, but it's also, I'm not ashamed of it. I just think, it's what you do. What do you do? This is what I do. I blame the American establishment and the American corporates and the hierarchy and the military for what they're doing, but I don't blame the American people because American people, I've travelled to America and they're lovely people, just like Kiwis, you know, just friendly people. My new song's called Good People, and that's all I've got so far. That's all I've got is good people. And it's going to be a song. And guess what? It's going to be about good people of the world. Because bad people get celebrated so much that it's ridiculous when there's a hundred times more good people out there that you could focus on. So I'm going to write a song called Good People. About all the good people in the world who choose not to take revenge because if they took revenge then they'd be like the bad people. They'd be doing what they did. So they choose not to take revenge even though it's presented to them on a plate to take revenge. They don't take revenge. And that's pretty important that you don't do that because as soon as you do that, you don't, you, you a little chunk of your goodness gets taken away from you. You lose a bit of your soul. Old video shop guy in his, in his 50s. And he, um, <coughs> this lady's quite rude to him. She says, I bought these videos back and they're a day late and I'm not paying the fee on them because something. And he just said, oh, that's no problem, he said. Um, he said, well, she said, I've got to go to the airport now. He said, what are you going to the airport for? And she said, I'm, I'm going on a trip. He said, oh, well, you have a lovely time on your trip. She was quite rude to him. He didn't need to say anything to her other than, oh, yeah, well, I'll take him back. It's cool. But he was friendly, and, he, and, and, I, and then he served me next. And I said, you know, you didn't have to say that to that lady because she was quite rude to you. I said, you, were, you, know, you said a nice thing to her. And he said, is there anything else to do? <laughs> and I thought, well, that's true. There is nothing else to do but be giving and friendly. What other point is there? I don't know. No. You wouldn't believe that, would you? But look at me. Look at me. I'm in love with you. Only you. You. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now that's cool. Um. Um. I've lost track of my of my thoughts.